I'm going to show you how to install um, Xfinity on here. Um, make sure that you already have this right here already installed and I can show you how to get it really quick. Um, you go over to apps and you click on that. And it's going to load up apps. And you go right here and it should be like the, t the first one. So just make sure you have that installed already. Um, the next step you're going to do is after you install that, you're going to go to, we'll pause the video and then you're going to come here to settings. And then you're going to scroll over. And you're going to go to develop options, developer options. And make sure all these are turned on. This one's going to give you a warning message when you turn it on. Hit OK. Um, then back out. And then you're going to go over to your File Explorer. And you're going to click on it. Sometimes it loads up the first time. Sometimes it takes three or four tries. However yours works, just you know, pause the video until it gets loaded up all the way. Um, you're going to go next. And it's going to say, I'm going to click OK. So you're going to go over to Settings, click on Favorites, and you're going to scroll down till you see Images. You're going to click on Images. Um, and then you're going to, once you click on Images, I have a mouse preloaded, which I'm going to do a video on how to do, um, how to install it. It's really simple. But once you click on that, you're going to open up the bar and then you're going to type in Xfinity. Um, on here. And then there's a version of Xfinity that you need a specific one. So you have to type in this specific version and it's three dot two dot one dot zero two eight. Okay, so I went the long way for the eight so you guys can catch up. And now I'm going to hit the next button. Um, and then I'm going to turn my mouse back on. And I'm going to hit search. Now what's going to pop up is going to be the images. Um, you're going you're gonna to use your mouse to scroll over and click on all. And then you're going to search um, Xfinity. And I don't even know if you guys can see this clear because I didn't zoom in. But I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it better. I just noticed that and I'm going to fix the angle. There you go. You're going to click on Xfinity. That's the version that you needed to type into the web browser. And that's what should pop up when you click on that. You're going to close the mouse down. And like I said, don't worry if you don't have the mouse. I'll do a whole tutorial on how to get the mouse. You're going to scroll down. And you're going to scroll all the way down until you see... where it asks you to download um, do you want to download this app and it takes a while to scroll down so just be patient don't rush it okay so I'm gonna turn my mouse back on now because now it's telling me I can download it right here you click on that And it's going to do that. It should hop back. What you click on next is more. Or if you don't want to do it this way, you can go over to your download and click on download. So this is going to have all the stuff that I've downloaded. And you're going to find where I downloaded that at, and you click on it. And again, that's underneath the favorite. 
So you don't have to, it should still be up on the side. And I'm going to back out to show you guys because I know some of you guys are like, well, where'd you go to? Um, I'm going to turn off the mouse pad. And I'm going to screw it over. And it's still here underneath your favorites. So all you have to do is click on download. And you go down to the Xfinity and you click OK. And then it's going to say install. Hit OK. So it's going to ask you, do you want to install? Scroll over to you see cancel and then you see install. Click on install. And now you're installing the Xfinity. And it's going to install it for you. And it might take a minute to install. So just keep you know, just be patient and don't like hitting the buttons or whatever, you know, because I know some people get a little impatient by waiting. And it's nothing wrong if it's taking a little bit longer. Just, just wait on it. <clears throat> um, I always have like my laptop available so I can search and do other stuff while this is going on. Um, so... Um, after it has completed the install, you need to know, I can just tell you ahead of time, you need to already have like your username and your password available for your Comcast account because that's going to be one of the, the main things you need. And you're also going to need some kind of mouse, even if you did this without a mouse, because this app does not work unless you have um, a, a Bluetooth mouse or you turned your, your actual... Um, Fire Stick remote control into a mouse. So you need to either have either one. And so it's saying get started. And so you click OK. And you don't need a mouse for that part, but you're going to need a mouse for the next few parts. Um, and at one point, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to enter my, my username and stuff on there um, just because I am a paid member of um, Xfinity. And it might take you to the screen and ask you to log on here. And you can say, yeah. So that's my email address. So yeah. And it says you're already logged in as this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, OK. I'm going to turn my mouse on and say, OK. And this is an email address I don't even ever use, so it doesn't even matter. Actually, I'm going to say it's not me. That way I can show you guys how to do it step by step. And after this is actually after I type um, my email address down because I like I said I never use that email address. So um, but I do have to pause it so you guys don't see my so I'm gonna say sign in as someone else. It's gonna bring this up. And this is the part where I'm going to pause it because I have to start entering my personal information. And I don't want you guys to see my user, my, my, not my username, my password. So I'm going to pause it now. Okay, I wanted to show you guys something. So I typed in all my username stuff and I just typed my username in, right? But it doesn't appear at the top bar. So you're just going to hit the next button. Um, and then you're going to have to back out of here. And it's going to say that. It's going to be like this. This is where you need, you know your mouse at because you're going to have to actually click on this to make sure everything got typed in, which it didn't. So now I have to go back in here um, and type in the .NET part. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to actually type in the .NET, the .NET part. And this is the part where I was saying like you have to have, you have to have paid for this because you cannot get this for free. And I'm, you know, I'm kind of messing this up, so I'm going to back up. And that's where I deleted it too, because I can't see. And I'm just letting you know, you're going to have to do this blind. Um, so, and I'm going to pause it in a second, like I said because I have to um, type my password in. 
So I'm going to back out. And now everything appears like how it's supposed to be. So for my password, you're going to have to actually scroll down and click on where it says password. So now that's a whole nother screen. Now I'm going to pause it while I put my password in. Okay, so once you're finished with that, it's going to authenticate you as a user. So you're just going to have to wait a second to close it up. And now it's going to say like, hey, you're a user, right? And it might kick you out of the app, just to let you guys know, which is fine. So the app has been installed on your, on your system now, right? And you're going to go back to your home screen. And you're going to click on apps. And it should list it should list it in your apps. I'm gonna add this to my favorites because I want it to be in the top. So, and you click OK. So it's gonna load up now. Again. And it should do that. And it should say get started. And it's gonna ask you, do you want to continue as you this time? And you're gonna say yes this time. So you're going to turn your mouse on. And you're going to hit continue. And it's going to do this again. And it's going to say this. So you see how it went in and out a couple of times. That's normal. Don't freak out because it's just adding your device to the system. And mine is already preloaded because I've done this a couple of times. And I just typed in living room because that's where I'm at right now in my living room. And you hit continue. And it might take you out again. And now remember, this app is not supposed to be on here. So it has a couple glitches because it's not made to be on um, on, Fire so on, Fire on Firefox, on, um, on the Fire Stick. So it does this sometimes. And you just have to keep playing with it. But eventually, I promise you guys, and now it's telling me it's a network, internet network era. So I'm going to say OK. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to back out of it completely and I'm going to relaunch it again because it does that it's kind of glitchy but um, once you get past the glitches and stuff like that the app is actually great um, I just installed it a couple of days ago um, and you know we use it just to watch like anything on demand that we, we missed and stuff like that um, I really don't use it I really don't watch TV that much in general so I really I don't watch any TV on there um, and now my whole system is frozen. So I'm going to, I'm going to cheat because I don't have time because this is a tutorial. I'm going to unfreeze my system. And I just unfroze my system. Um, that's another video I can show you guys how to, how to unfreeze your system like that really quick. Um, and I'm going to. See if it's still frozen. It's not. Okay. So there we go. So it's just they get started. You say okay. And hopefully it'll allow me to log in this time fully. Now remember, there's no technical support or anything like that for this. Because like I said, this app is not supposed to be technically on Firefox. But as you can see, my kids are in here watching stuff. I'm in here watching stuff. Um, and you have to use... Okay, so this is the tricky part. You have to have a mouse because in order for you to click on stuff, you have to be able to click on it like this. This is where you can watch like live TV or whatever. I never do. You have to turn your mouse off 
to scroll down. But you need to turn it on to select stuff. So I'm just going to click on TV shows. Um, and it's going to pop up some TV shows. Let's just go with something that's really PG-13. Um, my kids love this show. So we'll click on this. And I'll just click on watch just to show you guys that it's working. And again, you have to have a Comcast account with them, an Xfinity account for this to even work because you need your username and password. But as you guys can see, um, I just showed you guys how to put Xfinity on your on your TV. Um, and you just hit the back button to back out. And there's like, I mean, there's a crap load of shows on here, guys. Um, I have to turn my mouse off again. You have to turn your mouse off, but as you can see, there, there's like, I mean, everything from like the Little Women of Atlanta to, I mean, anything. Sophia the First is on here. Um, my favorite shows are all in here. I just, you know, scroll through and just watch shows at random when I do watch TV. Um, only show that I really, really watch like on a regular basis is Madam Secretary. Um. Other than that, I'm pretty much just watching Al Jazeera um, news or Euro news or something like that. Um, but as you can see, there's literally like hundreds of shows. It goes on and on and on and on. Um, so that is how you um, put Xfinity on your, on your Fire Stick. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. And please subscribe and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't or if you do like this tutorial.